welcome back to the channel guys farm sim snowy here so we've got some more mods today a few of them out in front of us so let's go and check them out first up today then we've got these and this is obviously the same pack this is the john deere 6m series this is by blower so we've got a small medium and large um, option they are all medium tractors though so you'll find them under vehicles and medium tractors so starting off with the small one, it's 110,000 base price. And we've got a couple of horsepower options. Top speed of 24 miles per hour. This is going to be 18 slots if you're on console. Um, the configurations are pretty much the same across all three. There's a couple of different um, options here and there, which I'll try and point out if I remember them as we go through them. So I won't go through everything on each tractor, but I will show them. So very cool looking John Deere. I like that. It's very smart, nicely detailed. Lovely. We do have the hundred years sticker on the side as well, which is pretty cool. So configuration, we've got standard or three point which puts that on the front obviously if you go for the three point you do lose the front weight configuration which is about halfway down that menu so if you go for three point obviously you lose the front weight option um, wheel brand we have got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitus, BKT, Vedestein, Nokians and back to Trelleborg in Trelleborg we have standard wide tyres widen weights rear narrow twin wheels you don't get this option on the medium and large ones so this is just on the small rear twin wheels twin wheels narrows and back to standard in michelin we've got wide widen weights and that is it continental we've got standard wheel weights wide tires widen weights rear twin wheels twin wheels and back to standard Mitus, it's wide tyres, wide and weights, and that is it. BKT, I think, is also wide tyres, wide and weights, and that is it. Vedestein, we've got standard, wheel weights, wide tyres, wide and weights, rear twins, twin wheels, and back to standard. And then the Nokians, you can't change, they're set on common all, and that is it. So that is pretty much the same across all three, like I say. Front weight, we either have standard, 360 kilogram, 560, 760, or 1010. On the large tractor is one more heavier option, which again, I'll try and show you if I remember. Um, front loader attacher, we've either got no or John Deere. There's no other options, so it has to be John Deere, so just bear that in mind when you're buying a front loader. And then the engine setup, we've only got two options. We've got the 6130, which is 144 horsepower, and then we've got 6140, which is 155, and then back again. Rim colours, we've got obviously the yellow, we've got a black, and then a beige, which is quite cool. And then we do have a license plate option as well, which I should imagine is going to be up the top there in the middle. So that is the small one. The medium one, oh, sorry, a medium one, also 24 miles per hour. And that is 18 slots. I think they're all 18 slots. Yeah, they're all 18 slots. So the medium one, like I say, all the configurations are the same, like so. I won't go for all the tyre brands. I don't think, yeah, there's no heavier weight option on the medium. The engine setup, though, we've got the 6145, which is 161 horsepower. We can go 172 horsepower, and that is it. And obviously the rim colours are going to be exactly the same. And then the large one, very cool again. You can see them getting bigger in size all the same options if i go down to front weight though and go back one we've got 1150 option and there's your 1010 as well and then the engine setup on this fella we've got the 6175 which is 194 horsepower we can go 216 and that is it 
So there's only two horsepower options on all of them, or each of them, should I say. But that is those guys, the first one of today. That is the John Deere 6M series by Blower. Next up is the Fent Vario 500. I swear this came out, I saw this come out the other day. I was away, missed a couple of mod reviews, but I'm sure I remember seeing this. I think it was worded different, but anyway, this is by Schnibble Modding. This is a small tractor, so you find it under vehicles and small tractors. This is 161,404 base price bit of a random amount it's got a varying horsepower 34 miles per hour top speed this is 30 slots if you're on console so it's a little bit up there and seeing as they've reduced the slot count allowance um, I'm on PS5 it's gone down to 4400 is that the case across all the consoles or is it just the next gen ones I'm not sure be interested to know if anyone knows please drop it down in the comments but anyway let's check this out there it is very cool looking vent i like that got the little seat in there as well i do like fent tractors fire extinguisher there ready to go in case we need it hopefully not we've got wheel brands we've got trelleborg michelin continental mitus bkt bedestein Nokians and back to Trelleborg. In Trelleborg, got standard wheel weights, wide tyres, wide and weights, wide tyres to wide and weights to narrow tyres, rear narrow twins, rear twins, twin wheels, and back to standard. I think a lot of them are the same. So Michelin, we've got standard wheel weights, wides, wide and weights, wide twos, wide. Yeah, it's pretty much the same there. So I'm probably not going to go for all of them. Um, we'll go to Mitus, are normally a little bit different. Like so. Yeah, that's pretty much the same. BKT, we've got wide tyres, wide and weights, wide twos, wide and weights too, and back to wides. Vedestein, I think, is pretty much the same. Wide tyres, wide and weights, yeah. So they're pretty much the same, most of them. And the Nanokians are set on common or can't change them up at all. Design, what did that do again? Oh, it changes the front sort of grille there and the side panels and also the cover on the exhaust there. So if I go back, if you look at both of them, it changes it, which is pretty cool. So it's either the standard or the design line. Beacon lights, we've either got none left right or left and right and back to none fender if i go from behind we've got small or wide so it changes the rear fender settings we have it on power now if we change that to power plus it adds that monitor on the side there so just like that don't think it changes anything else just that monitor and then if we go power plus um, then to profi it adds another monitor my angles are pretty poor aren't they let me i thought no hang on no sorry it will in a minute trust me i'm getting confused because there's too many tractors today so the power plus puts the monitor on there the profi that changes the lights so if you look at the front lights and also the sort of side lights at the front by the exhaust that changes those lights and then it's profi plus yeah so it changes those lights and it adds another monitor at the top there as you can see so I'll go back there you go adds another monitor I think that's all that changes and then back to power we're getting there front loader we've got no quickie power and back to no engine setup we're on the vario 512 which is 124 horsepower we can go 133 horsepower 150 163 and then back to 124 main color is quite a few fent colors i won't go for all of them 
but it's pretty cool. Got a red there, and we've got the orange. So there's quite a few colours to choose from. And then the rim colour, we've got some different colours there as well, which is pretty cool. Like so. And then we've got a licence plate option as well, if you want to. So there you go. Also, that does have some animations. You can open the door, the rear window, the roof window, and the steering base folds up and down when you enter and leave the tractor, which is very cool. So that's the Fent Vario 500 by Schnibble Modding. And then we've got another medium tractor. This is the Massey Ferguson 7700. Again, I'm sure we've had this or a similar model. It's getting a bit confusing sometimes. But this is by LS Agra Ole. It is 176,000 base price, varying horsepower, top speed of 31 miles per hour. This is 10 slots if you're on console. And there it is. Very nice looking Massey. So wheel brands, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Moitus, BKT, Vedestein, Nokians, and back to Trelleborg. In Trelleborg, we've got Standard, Wheel Weights, Wide Tires, Wide and Weights, Wide Twos, Wide and Weights 2, Rear Twins, Twin Wheels, Narrows, Michelin, I think it's the same sort of thing again, possibly without the Narrows, or oh, it does have Narrows, Continental, again, I think it's all the same, it does have Narrows as well, Mitus, no narrows on there, but pretty much the same. BKT got wide, wide and weights, wide two, wide and weights two, and back again. Bedestein, I think it's going to be the same as your trailer borgs. Do have narrows on there. And then your Nokians, you've got wide, wide two, and common all. And that is it. Engine setup, we've got 7719, which is 210 horsepower. We can go 225, 240. 260 horsepower 280 and then back to 210 main color we do have quite a few options we've got a black silver green white and the common all design color i think you're going to see what that's going to change it's going to do the grills there pretty cool and then the rim color we can change to anything on there if you want and the license plate option as standard so there you go that's the massey ferguson 7700 by ls agra ole and then we've got something i think a lot of people have been waiting for this is the tlx x52 tipper this is by 82 studio it is 81,500 to buy so not too bad because it does hold quite a lot it will hold pretty much everything by the look of it and it's nine slots on console so let's have a look at it first thing i'm going to do is change that main color because that black is a little bit dark i want you guys to be able to see it so we'll just go white for starters and let's start back up the top so configuration we've got standard extension so standard sorry is 83,000 litre capacity which is pretty high as it is obviously you will need a truck or a dolly to tow this so 83,000 capacity is standard you can go extension which puts it to 108 and a half thousand litre capacity and then we've got the unreal capacity which is 250,000 litre capacity so that is madness but there it is and then we've got forestry which is very interesting so it gets rid of the tailgate at the back like so so you can load up that with a load of logs have a few sticking out at the back it does say it has tension straps if you have it in this configuration let me just double check that yeah, forestry setup, removing the tailgate and adding tension belts support. So that's pretty smart. And then we're back to standard again. Wheel brand, I'll go around the back like this. We've got Lizard, 
Phoenix, Bedestine, back to Lizard. In Lizard, we've got Standard, a Crawler Track, look at that. And then back to Standard. Phoenix, we've got Standard, Spread Axles, so it gets rid of the middle one. Steering Axles, so they will steer as you turn. Standard 2, Spread Axles 2, Steering Axles 2, and then back to Standard. In Vedestein, we've just got Agricultural. We can't change that up, but they are quite cool looking chunky ones. Extras, we are on standards. Standard, sorry. We can have side bumpers, so it puts those bumpers on the side, either side, like so. Details, that puts those red and white stickers all around the trailer and at the rear and everything, like so. And then we can have both. So both of those if you want. Lighting, we've got standard. We've got lower, so it puts them below those red and white stickers on the side. Upper, puts them up the top. And then we can have both. So if you have them in both, that will light up like a Christmas tree. And then we're back to standard. Attachers, if we go to the rear, we can have a rear hitch on there, which is pretty cool. Or back to standard. And then the cover is either yes or no. I'm going to leave it on yes because we have some color options. Obviously main color, you've seen that already. That is going to change your main color. Do have a sort of range of the colors that yellow there's sort of four different types on a lot of these colors as you can see um, cover again you can change up like so the frame is going to do the underside so if i go for something a bit obvious like so and then i think it's the rim colors are next so we've got a dark steel stainless steel aluminium got a chrome polished oh sorry chrome affection one whatever that is chrome affection two there's some copper ones and then you've got all sort of the other colors and we go down the bottom to the base game colors as well you can have a license plate on there as well if you want obviously this you'll find under tools and trailers forgot to say that that is the TLX X52 Tipper by 82 Studio. Next up is the self made forest trailer. This is by Mikhail LS. This you'll obviously find under tools and forestry equipment. This is a little cute little forestry trailer. It's only a thousand to buy, it's only two slots on console. Pretty basic looking, but very cool if you've got a small setup and you're liking your older style equipment. We've only got a couple of options. We can change the main color, which is going to do the frame. And then we've got the rim color, which is going to change. Let's go green. The rim color. And that is it. Very cool. Self-made forest trailer by Mikhail LS. And then we have this interesting fellow, which is the Lizard FW360. This is by Vanquish081 and VSR Modding Sir. This you'll find under Tools and Miscellaneous. It's 450 to buy. It's only two slots on console. Now, it does say it's designed to be hooked up to a weight. So if you've got a weight on the front or rear, um, I'll go through everything first and then we'll come back to that. So the options we've got is brands. So basically you've got the brand of the weight and also the weight of the weight. So depending on what weight you are using, you can select. So this will fit that weight. We've got all different types of sour pickups. W, that's the class, I think, Agcos. So you've got quite a few options there, depending on what weight you're using. Main color, we can change to anything like that. And design color does the little poles there. Basically what it is, is you hook this up and it's got some extra sort of spotlights on there, which are quite bright. I haven't tested it in the dark, but in the daytime I hooked it up and they are quite bright. Now, I've tested this 
I try hooking up without a weight on, so just hooking up to, I had a tractor with a front three point hitch and a rear one, hooks up to both of them. But what I will say, if you are gonna do that, these lights that are kind of angled back towards where we're looking now, they are a bit close to the tractor, so you won't get the full benefit of those two lights. But the front three lights, they're very, very bright. So you can hook this up normally to a tractor. You don't have to have a weight. And then I decided to use it. I had it set on the Agco 650 um, setting, which is the very first one. I tried all different brands of weights and different size weights that hooked up to all of them. So I don't think it really matters what configuration you've got it on there. Hooked up to all of them and it still worked. And having it um, hooking up to a weight will push it out slightly more and you'll get the benefit of these two sort of angled back lights, if that makes sense. So there you go. So it will hook up to pretty much any type of weight. I did test it. So there you go. Very cool. That's the Lizard FW360 by Vanquish081 VSR Modding Sir. Talking of weights, we've got this, which is the self-made weight. This is by LS Design, 500 to buy. It's only one slot on console. This you'll find under tools and weights. There you go. Obviously just hook it up. It doesn't have a attacher on it. You just hook it up like so. All we can change up on there is the main color, which is gonna do that. So there you go, it is 1.1 tonne or 1100 kilograms in weight, so quite hefty. But that's that one, that's the lizard, sorry, it does say lizard there, but that's a self-made weight by LS Design. Moving on to the placeables for today, and first of all we have this in front of us. This is Cowshed 3 Plus Zero. This is by DMI 20mm Normandy. 10 slots on console. It obviously is a cowshed. I think it's only 160 grand, so a lot cheaper than the base game ones. It holds 80 cows. Um, you're going to get your milk from this end. There's your animal dialogue box, as you can see in the help menu. 80 cows, like so can open all these doors and go inside if you want like so there's another door there which is pretty cool if we go down through this side though this is where you're going to be feeding and tipping in your straw it is a barn so they don't require water it is built in couldn't see any way to raise these up sort of mesh there I think it just is there um, as for the lights couldn't find any light switch possibly automatic comes on at night like so and then out the back here we do have another door like so let's just check there's no light switches down this end I don't think so unless I've missed it quite possibly have um, this is where you're going to get your slurry from, just here. Sometimes these little hatches open, but you can't seem to get this one to open. But there you go. Pretty cool. So this one you'll find in your build mode. This will be under animals, obviously, and under cows. There it is. 160 grand to buy. Like I say, 10 slots on console. It is quite long, but quite cheap compared to the other ones obviously the um, cow barn feeding robot one's going to be very expensive but there you go that is cow shed 3 plus 0 by DMI 20 millimeter Normandy moving on from there we have this which is silage factory by LSMT Stefan it's five slots on console it's basically a production chain where you can produce silage and there's um, three ways you can produce silage so obviously you'll tip in your products and you've got a pipe out there when you're ready to do that we've got our now 
it's not doing it again is it so that was interesting normally when you come up to the spanner you get the option to click on it so it's not allowing me to do that so what we'll do is we'll go into this menu and go down to production chains you can also produce hay from this which is pretty cool so if you want to produce hay there's the recipe there in the middle of the screen you're going to need a thousand liters of grass plus 50 of straw and that will give you a thousand liters of hay and then like i say there's two ways to produce silage you can either put grass in and turn it into silage by the look of it or you can put chaff in and turn it into silage so you've got as the sort of norm you've got your incoming materials and your outgoing products like so but yeah you you can't click on this so if you want to access the menu you're gonna to have to do it from the main menu but pretty cool looking don't think you can open anything like so there you go so that's oh i haven't told you where you find that have i <laughs> apologies it's in your build mode this will be under production and it will be under factories right at the very end there 110,000 to buy like i said five slots on console there it is spin it around place it wherever you like and away you go so that is Silas Factory by LSMT Stefan. Next up we've got this, which is quite quirky. This is Big Bag Storage. This is by Domindana. There's two slots on console. It's basically somewhere where you can store your big bags. So I've got the help menu on. If you come up to them, you can pull these out. So it's easier to load up the big bags. If you come up to it sort of well it's a bit finicky you have to move around so if you want to open the bottom one you've got to kind of be looking down see even if i move across it says open the frame top one and now it's saying below so it is a bit fiddly so you probably will have to play around with it but basically you can obviously come up put your big bag in there and then tuck it away they all open obviously very quirky isn't it that this one you will find in your build mode this was actually under decoration and others and there it is at the end 2500 to buy and like i said it's two slots on console and there it is rotate around as normal place it down as you wish that is Big Bag Storage by Domindana. Next up, this looks a mess and I apologise. But as you can see, this is my test map where I do all my mod reviews. This area is pretty flat. I've flattened it all out. As you can see, it's a lot higher than what it should be. But I just flattened the whole area out because it was going to be my test map for doing these videos so that was placed down on a flat surface and look what it's done just to make sure i didn't do anything wrong i placed another one again and it's done that so it's sunk into the ground so i think something's not quite right there but this is slurry pit this is by olf modding three slots on console this one probably looks a bit better it is somewhere to store your slurry and digestate it's got a 500,000 litre capacity obviously you tip in and just collect from here if you pull up against it you can't really do anything else with it this you'll find under buildings and silos and there it is five grand to buy and like i said three slots on console it says one there because we place one so let's go again i mean the price is i mean 99 extra shouldn't do anything but i put that down look that's just a mess so there you go <laughs> that is slurry pit by olf modding and then moving on to the last one of the day this is panel fence and gates by Mikhail ls 
one slot for the fence and one slot for the gate as well usual sort of setup you put your post down and then extend out they're very cool looking sort of a wire design with a concrete sort of gravel board kick board and then we've got the gates to match which obviously open and close depending on what way you've put them around these you'll find under decoration these would be under fences so if we go on to the actual fence itself and zoom in we should be able to snap onto that gate like so and then away we go and you can go whatever way you like like so there you go that's panel fence and gates by Mikhail LS and that is it for today hope you have all enjoyed the mod review if you have please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine I've been Farm Sim Snowy stay frosty